Yep, this is where we are now. How's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. Of course, it is Sunday. Hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday, whether it's Monday, no, morning, afternoon, or evening on a Sunday. Hope you all have a fantastic uh, Sunday. More Monday. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you look here, it's currently 3 a.m. when I'm recording this. You probably can't see, but it's... It's 3 a.m. right now, so if I slur my words, I apologize. I'm a little bit tired, but I just hadn't had the time to record this at any other time. So we up late, we grind in, you know how it'd be. If you're new to my channel, we do this series every single week where you guys submit teams. I review them, pretty much how it works. Uh, if you do want to subscribe to my channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. We are so close to 100,000 subs. We're just about at 95,000. I am so excited. Genuinely, it means the world to me to get to 100k. It's always been my all-time goal on YouTube, so we're really close, and I'm really excited to hit it. Regardless, let's get straight into the teams. Now, we're starting off with Daniel's team, who has sent me a team. He said, this is my team, all first owner, and got 200,000 coins in the bank. Team improvements, question mark. Wow. All first owner as well. You got so lucky in your team of the season packs. Oh, my word. In terms of what I would change, uh, not a lot, to be honest. 200k in the bank realistically there's no improvements you can make with this team with 200,000 coins it's a beautiful team dude next is from from e his name's just e right his name's just e brilliant anyway um this is his team uh he plays he starts this plays in game uh, on the right and then he's got a really nice subs bench says uh just has like his haber nothing about the team uh it's a nice team to be fair i do like your team a lot I would personally, I mean, no, nah, actually, I was going to say try and get that footy car walker, but it's not in SPCs anymore. I thought it was for some reason. My head's back in, like, mid-July. Um, it's a nice team, to be honest. I, I, again, a lot of these teams are going to be not a whole lot of changes, just flexing people's squads. So there's going to be, like, no changes at all to be made for most of these teams. But uh, I'm going to look through them anyway. And if I do see any changes I'd make, I will let you know. So he says, hi, Haber. Tradables are Salah, Balak. Ericsson, Aurea in Team 1. Lacazette, De uh, Delix, Dumfries, Oblak, uh, Tradables in Team 2. I don't change anything in game. Any recommendations from the two teams? I would play different formations for both of your teams. It'll allow you to get comfortable with two different formations, which is always a benefit. Uh, second of all, I would also, instead of playing the 4-3-3 flat, I would play the 4-3-3-4. Now, this will change a few links about. So, you know, Ericsson might not get full chemistry in this team. Uh, why Naldon will still get full chemistry because he gets a Dutch link. Um... But it will change how your team gets links. Maybe you do this in game. I don't know. Um, but I would change to a 4 3 3 4 because it feels way more forward and it feels like you've got way more defensive uh, offload of pressure. And going forward, it feels like you're just attacking way better. So I'd personally change to a 4 3 3 4 with this team. In terms of this team, I would probably go with a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. I would go with uh, Busquets in CDM. I'd go with the two centre mids of uh, Wijnaldum and uh, what's his name? Frankie Diong. I would then go at Cam with Sterling, and then uh, I'd go with uh, Usmane Dembele and Lacazette up top. Um, I'd go with Lacazette on the right, Usmane on the left for like, uh, sorry, the other way around. Usmane on the right, Lacazette on the left for the first time shots and stuff like that. Um, that's what I'd do with that this team. Aside from that, two very nice teams. I do like that you've got two different teams. Uh, a fitness squad is always great for economy. Uh, it's always great for consumable usage, stuff like that. So, uh, so no, I like it, bro. It's re two really nice teams. I respect it a lot. The next team is from L, who just tweet me again his team with just the hashtag because he just wants to flex his team. Let me just make sure these guys are following. Okay, just make sure you guys are following me. If you're going to tweet me teams, please just follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is at it's Haber. Uh, let me show you guys my Twitter account so you guys know which one's mine. It's got 14,000 followers right now. This is my Twitter account. Please just make sure you guys follow me if you are going to follow me. Uh, sorry, if you are going to tweet me your teams, I greatly appreciate it. You know, I post great cat photos, great G Fuel promotion. Uh, as you can see, I'm like eight foot four, so... You know, greatly appreciated. Uh, no, but I'd appreciate if you guys did follow me on Twitter if you are going to tweet me your team. So, uh, this is his team. Again, just a nice little flex squad. What is that? Get rid of Sanchez and this team, bro. Get someone better than Sanchez. You can afford someone better than Sanchez there. I know you can. We both know you can. Get someone better than Sanchez. Apart from that, nice team again. Uh, moving on, we've got Toby's team. Uh, he said, second picture is how I line up. Have about 150k coins. Stones, Laporte, Moutinho, and Wamba Saka are tradable. Uh, this is what he plays. And my light just went off and on again because uh, someone I live with has the power to turn my lights on and off. Grr, I get, I regret him having that power <laughs> regardless. Uh, this is what he plays in game. 
I would personally go with someone a little bit better than Moutinho as a defensive midfielder. I don't think he'd be great as a cam. Um, in terms of who you can play there, does he actually get any significant links in your starting team? Nope, just Premier League. I would go like a Fernandinho team of the season card. Someone like that would be great there. Uh, just someone that's going to be a little bit more defensive. Maybe someone taller even. Uh, it's completely up to you. Maybe like a version of Paul Pogba, I feel like would be great there. I just don't think Moutinho is great defensively and he's quite weak. Uh, but moving on, we've got Rory Stride's team now, or Rosa. Uh, he says, hashtag it's Haber. This is my team, no money spent. First is how I start. Second is in-game. Tradable are Mane, Marquinhos, Militao, Werner, and Ibra. I have no budget. Also have Allison, Tots, and Tradable. All right, what did he play in-game then? He start... Okay, that's actually a really nice team in-game. I wouldn't change a single thing, bro. I think that team's fantastic. And I know you're not going to be playing Weekend League because it doesn't exist anymore. But I think that team is fantastic. Also, don't do what this guy did. This guy's tweeted me the exact same photo like twice in, in the space of a day. All right, just tweet me on Saturday. I'll get through your team, I promise. Um, next one's from Alvin. Just showed me his team. Again, just a little, nice little flex, beautiful team. I'd love to know how that card performs. Obviously, I'm not going to use it because, I, you know, we're in September, but it's pretty cool. I do like that card, and I hope we get more cool cards like this Sanchez card. Uh, that would be fantastic. And by the way, if you guys are wondering... Um, look closely if you're on mobile devices. I am using my mouse to sort of circle plays that I'm talking about. You won't be able to see that unless you look closely, I think. Uh, so I do apologize about that. But we've got Corey's team now. I have actually reviewed a, a team from Corey already this year. Um, I remember reviewing it, actually. Uh, and he's resent me in his team. And he says, uh, end game team, all in tradable except Dumfries and Lacquer. Second pick is in game. Only got about 30,000 coins left. Let me know what you have. Uh, sorry, let me know what you think. Uh, love the content. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Uh, fantastic team. Great team to end off with. Uh, and I'm so excited. You know what I'm most excited about? Let me know down below if you're the same as me. I'm excited about re-grinding towards my team. I'm excited about people going to have normal gold teams again. And we're going to be pushing towards getting fantastic players. New players will be in the meta. Other players will be gone. They won't be in the meta anymore. I'm so excited for that. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, but we've got next team here from uh, Theodore or Theodore. Hey, the first picture is how I start. And the second, I did a lasty. Hey, there. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Lasty here. Uh, hey, the first picture is how I start. Second one is how I play in game. I have about 60,000 coins to upgrade if you care. I do. Um, and everything isn't tradable apart from Marquinhos, PK, and Testagan. Hope I will get featured. So the second one is how I play in game. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, I like it. I like I like the utilization of the Condogbia. That card looks like probably the best CDN that's ever existed ever. I wouldn't make any changes, bro. Honestly, 60,000 coins. Just spend it on packs. Get used to 7.5k. So that's what we're going to have for a long time. That is what we're going to have for a long time is what I meant to say. And I think it just came out. So I do apologize about that. Uh, next one's from Aaron. Nice little flex of his team there. Loving the Pogba. Fantastic card. Lone Van Dyke. Come on, bro. Get Van Dyke in. Get Van Dyke. Get someone good. Come on, bro. You're letting the team down. Uh, but no, nice team. I like it a lot, dude. I do. I think it's fantastic. Uh, what we got next? We've got Josh's. I'm trying to get through as many as possible, by the way. I don't want people to be upset if their team gets left out. Uh, that is the last thing I want. So I'm trying to get through absolutely everyone's that tweets me. But, oh my word. Okay, you've got... Wow. Okay. Um, untradable Ronaldo and Cancelo. Unreal. 3-5-2 in game. Let's have a look at 3-5-2, actually. That is absolutely unreal. That is unreal. That pack look is crazy. GG. Fantastic. I wish I packed that Ronaldo. I'd have loved that card. That is fantastic, dude. That really is. Next one's from Danny. I want to check out what Danny's playing in game. I like it. Don't know about this card at Cam. Don't know about Alwar at Cam. I would personally swap Alwar and Kovacic. Again, not like you're actually going to be playing FIFA, but, you know, going forward, I think that Kovacic is better at Centim uh, Sorry, at Cam than Alwar would be. I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion. I know Alwar is fantastic wherever he plays. Do not get me wrong. I just think that Kovacic will be better, well better suited as a cam in comparison. Anyway, next one's from XX Alex, who shows me his 4-2-3-1 team. Lovely little flex there. I have around 200,000 coins to change up. I wouldn't change up anything, dude. Lovely, lovely team. Lovely flex. I'm not entirely sure if you're actually showing me your team here or you're just showing me your players because there's no way you play Lacazette and Benzema at CDM at all there's absolutely no way um but it's a nice flex and i respect that you want to flex uh, sorry you want to flex your first owners i respect it very nice first owners uh moving on we've got dan's team now uh he says four and two on two in brackets two uh all in tradable besides alan so where was he playing game he sent me the same photo twice basically unfortunately 
Uh, but no, you got some nice untradables, bro. You got some really nice untradables. I like it a lot. I'm, I'm loving the untradables, guys. I'm loving how accessible these cards are for everybody. I, I do like that a lot from EA. I think that they've done a great job this year of making everyone have similar cards, and I think that's fair. But I also think that earlier on in the year, they should make it more accessible for grindable cards as opposed to it's more pay to, pay to win until this part in the year. And I think that that should change a bit. Anyway, hiccups aside, uh, we have got David's team. Nice team. I respect it. We have got TWRS's team. He plays this in game. I think he plays. Yeah. So this, this is the bench. This is this is the plays he's got in game. Uh, 65k for a defensive sub. I don't know prices really well at the minute, but I would personally look for a version of Fernandinho or maybe uh, Delict or Dumfries. Either of those three. Uh, or in fact, you know what? Get team of the season, Danny Da Costa. He can play anywhere and it's fantastic defensively. He's great offensively. He can play as a center mid. He can play as a right back, left back, all that sort of good stuff. I would go for Danny DeCosta, I think, definitely. Um, but nice team. Next one's from Patrick McFarlane. Uh, I have McFarlane. Sorry, had to do it. I apologize for the cringe. Uh, nice team. I love that you're utilizing the Spanish up here. Um, Joe Gomez, interesting. Surprised you don't have Van Dyke, to be honest. Uh, but no, nice team. I like it. Kimmich at centre mid. I'd love to know how he played at centre mid or plays, should I say. Uh, next from Sam Smith. I wonder if he's the Sam Smith. I wonder if like the musical producer Sam Smith and the musical artist Sam Smith, it just plays FIFA, happens to watch my videos and submitting a team for me to see. That would be dope if it was. Almost 900,000% sure it's not, but it'd be dope if it was. Anyway, this is his team. Love the team. Uh, I love I love this out wide. I think he's fantastic this year. I absolutely loved his card this year. A lot of people hated him. No idea why. No idea. He's just played very, really, really well for me. Uh, but a lot of pros absolutely hated him. Maybe that's why I'm not pro, because I like him. I don't know. Uh, I didn't like Ronaldo, though. I didn't like Prime R9. I thought his uh, middle was incredible, but I just didn't really rate his Prime that high. Aubameyang was fantastic. Havertz was absolutely unreal. Uh, Milinkovic-Savic, I didn't get to try. The rest of it is fantastic. Really, really nice team. Uh, then we've got Andrew's team. In-game, he plays this. He's rocking a pretty much Serie A league gun team. I like it. I like it. Crespo top. This card, Crespo, for like the first three months of the year for me was the best striker I've used on a FIFA in a long time. He was just unreal. He'd win headers. His shot was incredible. He had four-star skill moves. His first touch was great. Uh, he could flick it over his head really well. He was just really well. He's always at the right place at the right time as well. Absolutely love that card at the start of the year. Fantastic card. I'm glad to see someone still using him. Mark just wants to absolutely flex. There's your team, Mark. I know you don't actually care for improvements. You just want to show everyone, and it's a beautiful team. You've worked really really hard this year, and it shows. Next from Matthias, we have got this 4-3-1-2 team. Classy FC. Um, upgrade Chiellini, I'd say. Apart from that, nothing else. Um, nice team. I like it a lot. Socrates, love that. Socrates is one of my favorite cards this year. We're down to August 27th now, so I'm just going to wrap it up with the last few teams. Now we've got J. Riley's team here uh, in game. Where does he play? He plays, I think he plays, does he play this in game? Everyone is untradeable apart from Wan Bissaka, Upper Mencano, and Lafon. I'm guessing he just plays this in game. Uh, I like the team. I like the utilization of the free cards as well. I think if EA gives us a card that's free and it's fantastic, use it definitely. I will 100% be doing that next year. Um, then we have got uh, Javier or Yavi Javier. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Javier, maybe. I think it might be Javier. Uh, show me his flex of a team. Really, really nice team. Unfortunately, the the, poly the quality of this photo is just absolutely horrendous. This is why I asked for HD photos because you really can't see the team very well with a, with a photo like this. And if you're watching on like a like a phone, for example, if I was watching this on my phone. I would not be able to see the team. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I asked for HD photos. A lot of people get upset with that. I just want the quality of the video to be the best possible it can be. It's nothing more than that, really. Um, going down there, we've got Henry's team, and then we're going to finish off with Andrew's team, uh, and then that's going to be it. So Henry's team now, he starts with the 4-3-2-1, uh, then goes to the 4-2-3-1, Really nice cams. I like that. I like how you've worked in the uh, the wide, pacey cams. Ben Yedder's fantastic in this game. I think Alwar in a three-cam formation would be great at cam. I just don't think as a lone cam, he'd be fantastic. But that's just my opinion. Uh, but nice team. I love the de uh, the bench as well. Sorry, the, the, not the bench. The defense, should I say. Um, shame you couldn't get that pink uh, Kimpembe. But nice team regardless. And then, Andrews, to finish us off, I don't want to show the name of the last person because I don't want them to be upset that they didn't make it. So you don't get to know if you're the last person that didn't make it. But I'm going to scroll down after this and see who didn't make it and, and giggle. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. 
sorry. Basically, guys, submit your teams on Saturday. That's the best time to submit them. I'll go through all of them on Saturdays. So, the last team is, uh, it's, it's Andrew. He said, this is my team. All are tradable except SPC cards and Edema I have a budget of 20,000 coins. Get rid of Willian straight away. Get rid of Willian. Bring in the best version of Sterling you can afford. And then I'd say your team is a lot better. I hate Willian in this game. And I think he's awful. I think he's awful in real life as well, to be honest. But that is it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Thank you all for the support recently. You guys are mental, honestly. It's fantastic. It's great. I'm very grateful. I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful. You guys, honestly, I say it all the time, but you guys really did change my life this year. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you all for the support. I can't wait to get into the FIFA 20 rating teams videos. Until then, we're going to do the flex squads. And then when FIFA 20 comes out, we're going to do the proper I rate your teams via FIFA 20. So I'm excited for that. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later.